everyone, it's me, Brittany. Welcome back to my channel. Setting my boba down first. So this video is going to be the truth about dental school or pretty much the D3 Q&A because if you didn't know, I just finished my third year of dental school. Yay! And I will be starting my final year of dental school in a few weeks. I asked you guys on Instagram to ask me any questions you might have for the D3 year. The first question is, what does D3 year consist of? Is it as much studying as it was first slash second year or mostly clinic? So if you didn't know, the first and second years of dental school are very didactic, but third year is when we really take what we learned in those first two years and put them into practice by working on real live patients. As for the studying, the first and second year, I studied a lot, like a lot. The third year, since we had a lot less classes, since we were half on clinic and half in the lecture halls, I didn't have to study as much. It also made me kind of lazy too. What was your least favorite and most favorite moments in a clinic this year? My least favorite part would probably be, I know it sounds bad, but working with difficult patients. Um, I've come to realize that as a person, I really take what other people think of me, especially the patients, very like seriously and how they feel about me and how they feel about my work really affects me. So if they are unhappy, I feel really unhappy too. Um, and I feel like I put a lot of pressure on myself. That was one of the the biggest challenges that I had to overcome. One of my favorite moments was when I created my very first set of dentures and my patient was so excited. He told me he was excited to eat Chinese food, Italian food, Mexican food. And when he put on those dentures, he was so happy. He smiled really big and I smiled too. And I almost cried because I was so excited for him. And I was excited that my work allowed him not only to be able to eat, but to feel great about his smile. That was such a big and impactful moment that has happened to me. So the third question is, what was the hardest thing that has happened this year during D3 year? And I've alluded to this in my Instagram, but if you don't follow me on my Instagram, I'm gonna kind of like briefly talk about it. Long story short, what happened was I created a pair of dentures. They didn't fit, didn't work out, and I had to start from scratch. It was very disappointing for me and the patient too because they weren't able to get their teeth. Um, and it was just like frustrating because I was really hard on myself. I pushed myself to make these new dentures. And even though it might have seemed like, oh my God, the world is ending, at the end of the day, I'm looking back and I got to be able to work with um, teachers and I got to learn all these tips and tricks that I didn't learn in class. I also feel like I'm more confident in making dentures now. You know, it's always hard to get through a difficult time, but I feel like always in retrospect, once it's all done, you can kind of see these positive things that you can pull out of that experience. The fourth question that I'm going to talk about is give the most important tips you think a D3 student should know before he gets in the clinic slash tips on first time handling real patients. So the transition from second year when we would work on our mannequins and the transition to the third year when we would work with living, breathing patients was it was different. First of all, the physical as aspect of it. They have cheeks, because in my school we didn't have cheeks. They have saliva. In my school, we, our mannequins didn't have saliva. They have big tongues that move around every time and want to touch your filling every time. I don't know. Um, there's blood, there's pus. Those physical things, you kind of learn. You know, that, that breath fogging up your mirror. <laughs> all those things, you learn to get past it. But it was mostly like the socialization with patients that really was different for me. I always grew up a shy person. Some of you may or may not know it. I used to have difficulty even ordering food at a restaurant, calling people, just talking to strangers in general. And this is something that I've been struggling with, but I feel like I'm improving a lot more. Um, one patient recently told me that, hey, Brittany, last time when I saw you in December, you seemed really nervous but now I feel like you're a lot confident, but a lot more um, secure in your work and how you talk. And that, me that made me feel really great. The phrase fake it till you make it is really real. If you seem confident and you act like you know what you're doing, patients are gonna realize that and put their trust in you. My very first day on clinic, I did fillings. While all the rest of my classmates was doing exams, I was doing fillings. Um, I scared that patient away. 
She never came back. Um, it was my first time giving injections. It was my first time putting rubber dam. It was my first time drilling a hole and putting composite, blah, blah, blah. Fact of the matter, she did not come back, but I, I felt like I learned a lot. Who cares if she never came back? Bye bye, adios, okay, au revoir. But it is what we learn from it. We're a student and we are here to learn. Another helpful tip is be prepared. I'll link this um, video that I did. I used to keep a notebook of all the little codes that I needed to do. That really helped. Another thing is establish a connection with your patients. For example, one time I saw on like my little roster, I had a patient and her, la her name, her first name was very unique. And I, so I looked it up how to say that name. It was in a different language. And when I saw her, I said, hey, blah, blah, blah. Her face already lit, lit up because I took the time to look up how to say her name and she was already feeling warmed up and happy to see. Um, one last thing that I feel like a lot of people have been asking me is the big question. Brittany, are you going to specialize? What do you think, guys? What do you think? Comment down below, do you think I'm gonna specialize? Maybe I will have a video about whether I'm gonna specialize or not, what specialties I'm into, blah, blah, blah. All right, guys, I feel like I'm getting hyped up after every single question. It might be because the sugar is in me. Also, you guys, dental ASMR. Let me know if you're interested in that because I've been listening to ASMR and it's really fun. All right, Den dental ASMR. Comment down below if you want to see that. Bye.